Updates are being made to what an average hurricane season looks like in the Atlantic Ocean. Forward meteorologist Stefano DiPietro is here telling us what the updates are and why we're seeing the change. Now that we're officially into the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, it's important to remember that the last couple of seasons have actually been pretty active. And as a matter of fact, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is changing what a new normal hurricane season looks like for us in the Atlantic. The old averages were from 1981 to 2010. On average each season, we were seeing around 12 named storms, six of those becoming hurricanes and around three of those becoming major hurricanes, but now we're working with a new average over a new time span. This is how we see how things are trending in the atmosphere, and you can see some changes. Now we're seeing around 14 named storms on average, seven of which becoming hurricanes, but no change in the amount of major hurricanes we're seeing each season. But exactly why are we seeing this increase and what caused it? Well, one of the big reasons is we're just getting a better look at the tropics. We have big improvements in satellite coverage. We're getting a great view of everything that's going on in the Atlantic and we're doing better with hurricane reconnaissance mission. Those are those hurricane hunter planes that you'll hear us send out every now and then. But there is another reason that we still need more research on, but we are seeing a correlation between warming ocean and atmospheric temperatures and just the amount of tropical activity activity that we're actually seeing. So what exactly do I mean by this? And remember, we need more research on this, but the general rule of thumb here is with warmer ocean temperatures and warmer atmospheric temperatures, we start to see a more favorable atmosphere condition to see these tropical storms fire up and also see them strengthen as well.